Hi guys, this is Shiva Reddy. Welcome to the session on JSON. In this session, we are going to look at how JSON is going, JSON is going to help you to convert the Java primitive types it is equal into of JSON representation and also vice versa. So I'm going to explain this concept using an example. So let us go ahead and start my Eclipse and I'm going to create a new class. Right click new class. Yeah, I'm saying like a J son, class name. I'm giving a JSON primitive data types. And I like to have a main method in this class. So click finish. I'm going to show you how now you can convert uh, the primitive data types into equivalent of JSON representation. So in order to that, we need to have a class JSON, which is going to help you to convert the Java primitive data types or user defined data types in using equivalent of JSON representation. So new JSON. And now I need to import this class, click on it and import com.google.json. And now what we need to do is json dot to json and you can directly specify element for example 101 so automatically it will convert to the json at the same type you want to convert to json so uh, this is the integer and uh, for example if you want to have a boolean variable then false so, yeah. false it is the boolean variable and if you want to con convert to um, long json for example long is um, you can specify new long oh, one two three four this is how you can convert um the long integer and uh, json dot um if you want to distinguish between the primitive versus the the wrapper classes also you can specify new integer oh, one two three something like this so this is the one way you can this is the one way how you can um convert the java primitive data types into equivalent example if you want to trying with the two dot two json if you want to create a float value four two three four this is the float so so the the by default the concept is uh, the JSON is automatically convert or uh, is I is automatically identify what is the data type and it is going to convert uh, the equivalent uh, representation of the uh, JSON format. So now if you want to see the output of it, I am just going to print out this statement so that we can see what is the equivalent. Um, json object for all this primitive data types once again let me try to format it and uh, it's done it's done So I am going to save this program and I will try to run it. I click run as Java application. Okay, see here, so it automatically converting the equivalent values of here. This is how um, the JSON is going to convert the primitive data types is equivalent to the JSON object. Now we will see the reverse way how json will convert the json representation which is equivalent to a java primitive data type so now 
the above we will call as in serialization because we are converting from java object into a json it is called as a serialization and uh, serialization and reverse way is called as in deserialize D So deserialization. Now, uh, how we can convert deserialization is again JSON dot from this ideally is going to con uh, is going to return type is going to be uh, JSON, but now we need to convert this is an equivalent of uh, our primitive data type or the uh, wrapper classes. So here. Let us consider I will specify one. So when I specify one, now I, it uh, JSON really not sure uh, what is the type for it. So that is the reason we need to tell what is the class equivalent of it so that it will convert the whatever the parameter we are passing in the first uh, parameter. It is going to take this parameter and convert this one into equivalent of the second argument of uh, type what we are passing for example int number equal to then this is automatically convert this as uh, take the string representation it is going to convert into equivalent of uh, the data type and uh, for example if i want to test with the boolean boolean status equal to json dot from json and here you can specify um, 1.2.3.4 now this is equivalent to you know, float so you can specify float here and it is going to convert float dot class it is going to convert take the float value and it is boolean right sorry if it is boolean then we can say false and we can specify it is a boolean now it will take this parameter and convert equivalent a boolean object and then if you want to see the long long name value equal to json dot from json here i can say 1.2.2.345 and here i can specify the long dot class for example if you want to work with the um, uh, wrapper classes it is also possible so for the wrapper classes how we can specify is boolean status one equal to json dot from json and it is a boolean so let us consider this value is true and uh, here you need to specify the type of uh, this variable is boolean boolean dot class okay and if you want to uh, specify like a float or um, double so double value one equal to json dot from json and here you can specify one two three dot uh, four five and uh, here we can specify double okay, double dot class 
so this is how it is going to uh, while you are converting from in, in json to the equivalent uh, java reference or the java primitive data of the wrapper classes then you need to specify what is the uh, what is the um, the value you are passing is corresponding to which data type whether it is integer or boolean or long or um, char or short or int or long so whatever the data type we want to specify then json is going to uh, convert the it will take that value and automatically convert to equivalent of this uh, primitive data types hope you are clear with uh, the concept of uh, use how json is going to convert the primitive data types and the wrapper classes equivalent uh, um, json representation and from uh, json representation to equivalent uh, primitive data types in the next session we are going to look at how we can work with the um, user defined objects which is going to be really help you to uh, work with this um, json thanks for watching if you have any questions please comment on my youtube video and please subscribe to the channel to get more updates from my technical tutorials